first home game as a new manager. How'd it feel? Uh, it felt great. Um, the energy from the fans was was fantastic, and I and I think we uh, we fed off that. The team fed off that. Um, you know, we came up a little short on the on the result end, uh, but it was a hard fought game, and I'm really proud of our players. <clears throat> Both teams look a little rusty today, Jeff. Um, anything attribute to that from from your angle? I mean, what, what were you seeing out there from from both sides? Yeah, you know, it was. It, uh, it felt like there was two teams out there just that that just didn't want to lose. You know, it was a hard fought game in the midfield. Um, you know, we were just a little bit off on our possession and our attacking ideas. Uh, but I was really proud of the guys. Uh, our defensive shape for for most of the game. I mean, if you look back at uh, how our game was in LA compared to here, um, <clears throat> we were much more organized. I felt uh, I felt LA wasn't nearly as dangerous as was before. Uh, but we also have to then you know counter that and be better offensively. Did Plata's <coughs> injury change kind of the landscape of the game? It seemed you guys were in a flow when he was out there really creating stuff, and when he went down. Things kind of went the other way. Sure, I mean uh, Joao and, and Sabo are uh, their partnership right now is, is going really well. Uh, but I thought Garcia came in, and it's tough to come in, you know, cold and and you you weren't prepared to come in. Uh, but I was proud of his reaction. You know, I thought he worked hard. I thought um, some things didn't come off offensively, uh, but at least uh, the effort the effort was there. <clears throat> Coach, that goal by Keane in the 34th minute did that change the players' mentality when they went into half? Well, you know, I mean, it, I think it, it didn't change our mentality. It just kind of, you know, took the took the air out of us for a little while, you know, because we were we were playing some good soccer. They weren't doing too much against us, uh, and then you know they they make us pay for 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 a, a, a giveaway. Um, but you know, I mean, and after that, then you know, it was a battle, and uh, you know, we didn't we didn't do the best of job uh, taking care of the ball. Um, but we'll work on that, and we'll get better. Five points and three tough matches. Uh, what's your takeaway from all of that? Are you optimistic or concerned or both? I'm very optimistic. Um, you know, I mean, if you look at the schedule that we have to start off the year, um, you know, it's pretty daunting. Uh, but the guys are up for it. Um, you know, I mean, if you think of uh, taking four points out of six away from L.A., I'm pleased with that. Uh, but even more, most important is, uh, you know, when we when we come home, we want to put on a good product out on the field for the fans because uh, uh, they deserve that. And I thought we did that for for most of the night. I thought the fans uh, saw a team that fought hard. Um, we just need to do just a little bit better with taking care of the ball. Three games in, you're uh, already running kind of low on forwards. Do we know anything about the injury today? And uh... Uh, I don't, to be honest with you. I need to talk to our trainers. Uh, it, I think it's a hamstring, obviously. Um, not sure how long it's going to be, uh, but it is a little concerning. Um, and uh, we'll get, uh, you know, we'll get um, Sabo and Garcia working together this week and, and making sure they're having a nice partnership. Towards the end of the match, it looked like a lot of the players were getting pretty gassed out there. Can you explain the reasoning behind not using your third sub? Well, you know, I, you know, I, I felt like Luis and Luke um, were giving us the work offensively, uh, and, and Luke uh, especially defensively, um, and I just uh, thought that that combination of players out on the field was was going to get it done, um, and I thought we had a few chances there at the end, but that final pass maybe wasn't quite there. So, <clears throat> Jeff, your assessment of how of how Chris looked today first game back in about three or four months. Chris Schuler, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I was really pleased. I mean, he was he was battling uh, friend for most of the night, um, you know, and, and, and won most of those challenges. So I was really proud of him. Uh, you know, we'll see how he's feeling tomorrow because that's, that's the key with Chris is how he does the next day. Um, and we'll watch him closely. Anything else for Jeff? Hey, Coach, you held that third sub in your pocket uh, near the end of the game. Was that a, uh, a matter of anybody on the bench being ready or kind of how the game was being played out there? Well, you know, it was, it was just a feeling that I had. I didn't want I, I to change anything that was going on. Um, you know, I'm sure those players could have uh, possibly brought something to the game. But uh, when the game's that sometimes intense and that high-paced and then you introduce somebody who's uh, starting from, from zero, um, 
you know, that, that was my choice. You know, I felt like also in the San Jose game, it could have been the same way. You know, I mean, maybe uh, I, sh I shouldn't have made those subs. Um, but today, I just wanted those players out there to grind it out.